If you're a membership site that sells to teams, organizations, families, or any other group, check out our new group accounts add-on. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk through how to set up a group account level so that there's a parent account that's paying for membership with a specific number of seats that they can purchase at checkout and share those codes to members of their group. This is a demo site that has Pay Memberships Pro already set up, so I'm going to install the Group Accounts add-on and then set it all up and we'll go through some test checkouts so you can see the functionality of this feature. So I'm going to go to Memberships add-ons and just locate our new Group Accounts and then click Install. This is a new add-on for Paid Memberships Pro. It replaces a former add-on called Sponsored Members. That was a code-based system that was not very accessible to all types of users. So Group Accounts adds a nice GUI where you can set it all up without any coding and a lot more features for your group that parent accounts to manage their members. So this plugin is installed. I'm going to make sure that the plugin is activated under the plugin screen in WordPress. Perfect. Now, the first thing I want to do after setting this up, I do already have some membership levels in this account uh, set up already, but there is a page that I need to generate. So I'm going to just navigate to Memberships Settings Pages and then scroll down uh, to click Generate Page for the Manage Group. This is a page that is used for the admin of the site as well as the group account owner, the group account holder, to do certain things about viewing child accounts, inviting members, and things like that. Now I'm just going to go back to my membership levels. So I think what I'm going to do is add group accounts as a feature of this professional level. But first, I want to create the account that the child can get. So I'm going to add a new level. I'm going to make it, I'm going to give the level of fee so that other people can't get it. And I'm going to call this the professional child account level. And then we'll just set that up with that pricing. Child accounts won't pay this price to access things. You'll see how that works at the end. So now we have a new uh, level called professional a child account. So when we edit our professional level, we'll scroll down to a new section here called group account settings. So let's just make sure we click uh, select that uh, child level we just created and then we'll see what additional settings show up here. So group accounts, you can either set it up that there's a fixed number of seats included in the group, like 10 seats or five seats. And that creates a code that the parent can share out to other people or they can invite them by email. We'll showcase that in the demo. Or you can also set it up a variable number of seats between a minimum and a maximum range. So this would be more useful if your parent accounts didn't know how many accounts they'd need. Like if it was for a family membership, let's say, they could have one family member or up to 10 family members and they would self-select and pay the fee for that. So I'm going to set it up as a fixed number of seats for this demo. I'm going to just say that there's 10 included. And then the other decision you have to make is how the pricing will work. So um, right now, that when I say none, that means that it's group, uh, the pricing is built into the uh, membership level specifically. So where we set this up, this is a $100 per month membership. So you could certainly set this up that the seats are included and the pricing is just reflected in um, the billing details of the level itself. That's the way I would set it up when you're doing a fixed number of seats. If you wanted a per seat pricing, you could do that uh, and adjust this cost per seat. Um, you could say the additional seats are $10 each, let's say, uh, and then choose how you want the price per seat applied. So do you want them to be billed only at the initial payment for that additional seat price, at the recurring payment only, or at both cases? So um, really, there's a lot of flexibility here. My favorite way is doing a fixed number of seats included in the price of the main level itself. Or if you're going to do a variable number of seats you know, you want to set that per seat price. It wouldn't really make sense uh, to do a variable number of seats if the pricing wasn't a la carte. So I'm going to set it up this way for this um, membership thing. I'm also going to update my description here. Um, you know, this account includes 10 additional child seats that you can share to your team. The parent account does not count toward the seats. So when I said 10 here, that means it's going to be one parent account and 10 child seats. In essence, this person is managing 11 total member memberships within their account. So I'll save this settings and then we'll go to the front end of the site and just do checkout for this. So here's the professional level on the front end of the site. I can click through to get this level. You'll see the description here. This account includes 10 additional child sheet seats that you can share with your team. So if I click select, I go to the checkout process. 
it says here, you know, our price is $100 per month. It includes these child seats. I have some fields here. Um, that was added with user fields. It's not part of this, um, but you could certainly have fields like that if it makes sense. And then there's a information here. This purchase includes 10 additional seats. Group, group of members will be able to claim the professional child account membership level. So it's recapping for me the benefit of the membership and what type of accounts my child members will be able to receive. So when I submit and check out now, uh, I'm using a testing gateway, so that didn't require any payment fields. Yours would require payment fields. Um, but my confirmation page shows uh, information about my group code, how many seats are active, and a link to manage the group. This information can also be included in the confirmation email that's sent um, based on your preference. When I'm on my membership account page as the parent holder, I have my, all my memberships will be listed here and I have a link to manage the group. So what is that interface like? I am logged as an admin to the site, so this section is only visible because I'm an admin. It wouldn't be visible to actual parent accounts. They can't uh, change the number of seats on their own without contacting you. Um, it does show the active members in the group. It will show all their names. Uh, it shows my group code uh, for my membership that I would share with people, and then it gives me a link of how to invite people um, to do that. So let's do that. I'm going to copy this link address and open a new incognito window here to do that. So here I am. I'm checking out for the professional child account level. I applied the group code. This level would have a membership fee if we didn't have our group code here. I'll just demonstrate what that would look like. Um, this is a level that couldn't be free, but it is a level that's attached to a group. So we show a field that people can apply the group code if they have it. Um, otherwise, they could complete checkout for this level and just pay on their own. Um, if I click to apply the code, now it takes that pricing away, making it free for me because my, my membership is being managed by someone else. So I can just test this here. Let's do, this isn't a real email address, but let's do it just so that we don't make anyone get weird email, right? Cool. And then when I submit and join, it now it shows me uh, my regular confirmation message, just like any other membership checkout. I can view my membership account, and then it just shows me who my membership is managed by, so the display name of the parent of my account. I don't have any managed group settings. I don't see anyone else that's in this group. I just can see who my account is managed by. So back to the group account page. You know, we covered this, that the admins could adjust the number of seats. Um, then now if I refresh this page, I'll see that person that joined our group, uh, that account we just did a test checkout for. As the manager of the group, I can now see this person. I can optionally remove them from this screen if I don't want them to be in my group anymore. And again, I get that recap. This also offers some features for that parent account to generate a new group code. When would they use this? This is really useful if, let's say it was a school and you gave a teacher 20 seats to an advanced Photoshop design course. That course was offered twice per year. The teacher could give that code out, allow their students to register, 20 students, and then at the end of that semester, they could remove all the group members, generate a new group code, and then send that out to the next cohort of students in the program. Not only if there was like a spam situation or a group code got abused, but it's also useful when the parent account needs to cycle people through in groups. Uh, this also offers one way to trigger an email off to invite people. So you can enter emails here, one per line, and it's gonna kick off those emails because this is on a testing server. It has email disabled, so sorry about that. But it will kick off an email. I'll show you where you can edit that field. Um, and like I said, the seats number, you can adjust this if you wanna increase the number of seats available to the group it won't change the price that they're paying. So if you were using a per seat pricing model and you as admin wanted to increase this, you'd also want to go into your payment gateway and increase their price of their subscription manually, or you can just have them check out for a new membership for their same level, but increase the seats so that they get more group codes. It's kind of a twofold option here. If you as admin want to give um, seats kind of just as a gracious gesture, increase that seat number, keep them paying the same price, or if you want them to complete a new checkout and get an accurate number of seats that they need. I'll show you in the admin where you can customize the contents of the email that's sent when a new member is invited. So if you go to memberships, settings, email templates, scroll down to the bottom, there's a new template called group accounts, invite member. Um, and this is where you can customize 
the content of that group account and change um, all the settings you'd want for that. So that's it's not customizable by the parent account. It's all set across the board for the site. So parent accounts, you can instruct them to use that field to invite people, or you can just say, copy your group invite link directly to checkout. That includes your group code, and they can send their own email out to the people that are needing to claim that code. The other emails that you might want to customize for group accounts are the checkout emails that are sent when the parent joins. So there is a template variable you can use. There's lots of templates that you can use to customize these emails. For this site, you would want to edit, let's say you have, it's a paid level, so you can edit this checkout paid template. And then the variable is called I'll paste it here. Um, PM Pro account ACCT underscore group underscore info. That is in the documentation, which we'll include a link to in the description of this video. If the person is checking out for the level and did not choose group accounts, it will just show nothing. So you can place that safely within the templates. And only if group accounts were purchased or included in the membership, will that populate with the same information we show on that confirmation page for the level. Um, there's one other place that you can see information as admin about groups, and that's on the user profile edit screen. So if you scroll down, um, you'll see a new section related to group accounts on this screen with information about each user on your site, what group uh, they hold, the code for their group, how many people have claimed seats within it, and uh, what group child account is given, what level is given. So you can click through to manage the group uh, right from that user edit screen. And then if you were actually looking at a child account, for example, like the one we just created, let's find them, Kim Test Groups, it would rather show that this person is a child member of this group owner uh, with what level ID that they hold. And the same would be true. You could click through and manage the group right from that screen. So that's group accounts. Really useful for teams, for families, for corporate organizations. We're going to keep working on this add-on and build it out and meet some of the use cases that sponsored members supported and work on things that we see people needing the feedback for. But it's a really straightforward add-on to use. There's no code needed to set it up, which I think is a huge benefit over what sponsored members was for so many years. So check it out. It's available to our Plus members, and you can also find it on GitHub. I'm Kim Coleman. Thanks for watching this video and seeing a new add-on release by Paid Memberships Pro.